Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I want to film a Makeup by Feet Piano. I haven't filmed one of these in a while and I have a few products that I would like to show you. I have 11 pans total to show you on this video and I have a few more that I will leave for another video because I don't want this video to be crazy long. So without further ado, if you want to see the products that I've hit piano in the past couple months, then just keep on watching. Remember that this channel is organized, so if you see this video, then afterwards you can go to the Makeup I've Hit Piano list and you can binge in Makeup I've Hit Piano videos that I've created and uh, showing you other products that I've hit piano in my collection if you want to see that. I'm going to leave the playlist link below just if you're into panning as much as I am, some pan porn. And let's just go ahead and show you the products. A few of them you have seen in the Panda Palette or the Panda Palette Projects and the Panda Face Palette Project, but not everyone follows me there, so I wanted to show them in here. This is the Tarte Palette Toasted, and I put this in a Panda Palette uh, last year, and I got to hit pan in two more shades. I already had pan in one, I expanded that pan, and I got to hit pan in two more shades. These are the shades Candle and Latte. And you can see them right there. The first one, the orangey one, is cashmere. And then the two in the bottom are the new pants on this palette. And you guys know that my project for the year is just to show love to my collection. So hitting pan in two eyeshadows of one palette is just amazing. And if I already had one other pan, that means three pans in one eyeshadow palette. And I want all my eyeshadow palettes to look love. And I want to hit pan in every single eyeshadow color. This one is the Natasha Denona Holiday Palette. This is two years old, or at this point, maybe three years. I think two years, I'm not that sure. But this is the Hoya Palette, and this was a holiday edition, and I've used this a ton. Creating Frankie Palettes have been helping me with hitting pan in more eyeshadows because I just remove a few shadows that I want to use for 15 days or, or one month, and then I will use them a lot and that way I can hit pan on them. So this eyeshadow palette, I have hit pan in two shades. One of them is peach gold and the other one is called star bronze. And these are Natasha Denona shadows. They're not that easy to hit pan on, but I'm happy that I did. You can see it right here that the pans are not little either. This one is peach gold and then this one is star bronze. And they are just so pretty. I'm gonna swatch them for you so you guys can see it or you can see it on my finger. These are my shades. These are shades that you can wear every day all over the lid. And these are the shades that I hit pan on the quickest because I love to do a one eyeshadow look for sure. So those are two more pans. Then the Soft Glam, I've been telling you guys for ages that this is my favorite palette in my collection and in a way it's the palette that I would repurchase first if I lose all of my eyeshadows. I wanted to focus on eyeshadow colors on this palette that I didn't use before and that's what I was doing with Glistening because the rest of the eyeshadows that I hit pan on are easy for me to go through because they are just obvious for me. But those type of gold, even though people go through gold like crazy, are not the shadows that I use the most. And Glistening, I'm gonna swatch it, is this light gold shade. And it's pretty, but it's just not the color that I will use every day. So I'm gonna show you that I hit pan on it. And I know that Fairy is on its way to have a little bit of pan. So now I have hit pan in most of this eyeshadow palette and that makes me extremely happy. Then now going to another palette. This is the Dream Street by Kathleen Lights. And I didn't think I was gonna hit pan in this palette, to be honest but I hit pan in two more shades because I already showed you on my last Makeup of Hit Pan on video that I hit pan in this brown right here. But I also hit pan now in two more shades and this one I took traveling with me at some point and it's just, and like I said, I wasn't expecting to hit pan in two shades. I hit pan in Shooting Star and Sweet Dreams. So these are those two eyeshadows in the corner right there. And you can see that the pan that I hit is a deep pan because those are shadows that I could use every day. More than anything, the first one because that's the perfect transition shade. So I'm gonna swatch them on my finger. I'm really sad that they discontinued this palette. That's what I heard. I don't know if they don't have it anymore on their website, but this is one of the most beautiful palettes that I own. It's so easy to use and the formula, it's really wonderful. 
For the ABH Mario palette, I don't know if I showed this on my makeup I've heat pan the last video, but I ended up heating pan in the entire eyeshadow palette. So the shadows that I know I heat pan on last were Hollywood, Bronx, and Claudia, which are three eyeshadows that didn't have any pan on them, and I think New York City as well, or Violetta's, one of those two, but I know for sure Hollywood, Bronx, and Claudia didn't have any pan. And now all the eyeshadows on this palette have pan on them. So those two, the blue one and the green one, and then on this side, Hollywood, which is the first one. For so long, I was trying to not use this palette because it's limited edition, it's not gonna be re-released, but I purchased it because I wanted to try something that Mario created with Anastasia. I fell in love with it. This is basically right there with soft glam, in the ABH formula for me, and I love the color scheme of this palette. So why just save it until it goes bad and then I won't be able to use it, and then anyway, they're not gonna re-release it. So why just not use it and punish myself if I love it? So I decided that I was gonna love it until it went bad and I was gonna try and finish it out completely because it deserves to be loved in my collection. And now I know it looks really loved and that's just something that I wanted to do. So recently I posted the update on the Panda Face Palette series and on there I showed you these two pans and an expanded pan and this is the Contour Palette 4-in-1 Face Essential by Kevin O'Quan and I ended up hitting pan in the blush and the highlight. So the blush is called Aurora and then the highlight is called Starlight and I hit pan in both colors and I even finished one. But I wanted you guys to see how loved my makeup collection is looking because that's really important for me. It's part of the project that I have this year. Last but not least, I have one powder. And powders for me, pressed powders, are not easy to hit pan on. But this powder is just a powder that when I grab it, I will wear it every day. I will put it in my purse. I will use it as a retouching powder because... It's like no other powder I have tried because it helps you retouch your makeup without making it look messy or without disrupting it. I'm gonna grab a brush and show you guys right now. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. I wish I had this in the shade number one, the fair or the light color, because I think it would suit me even better. But this one works for me when I wanna, if I pack it, it will darken uh, foundation if it's too light for me. It looks flawless for retouching. So I'm gonna grab a little bit with the Wayne Goss Airbrush brush, and I'm gonna apply it in the center of my face, which is the place where I retouch the most. And then sometimes I tend to look shiny right here. So I will retouch my face and this will never make me look cakey. I will never use it only in my under eyes because I don't see the point in doing that, but I will use it all over my face to set my face or just to keep it in my purse to retouch and it's the perfect powder for that. I know that it's expensive, but it's truly worth it. It's one of the most beautiful powders that I own in my collection. And this is how much pan I've hit throughout this past month. And that's it for this video, you guys. I have other eyeshadows that I hit pan on, but I'm gonna save them until I have 10 more products or 11 more products that I hit pan on to show them to you. So you will see another video from this series. I'm hopefully soon, hopefully I will hit more pan as the time passes. And that's basically it for all the pan porn that I have in my channel. I'm gonna choose something for the emoji today. So okay, so let's do glistening, which is the eyeshadow from the soft glam palette that I hit pan on. As an emoji today, just anything that you think about when you think about glistening, it can be sweat, because you guys always come up with the craziest of emojis. So if you watch the entire video, leave the emoji below. Also always, you can let me know what you wanna see next on my channel, and leave below if you have hit pan in any products um, in these past couple months, what were they and if they were hard to hit pan on. That's it you guys, hope you stay safe, stay home and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye!